Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I wanna start off by giving you a very, very warm welcome. My name is Kyron and I produce You Know BS content on a weekly basis. Now the purpose of today's video is to introduce you to the Moonbeam Crowdline process what that will intake from you, and how to get everything set up ready. Now, this is, of course, in preparation for the Polkadot Parachain Auctions, which, as we all should know, are live as of the 11th of November this year. So with that being said, let's move into the video. I've more or less done a video on this for Akala, another very, very promising Polkadot Parachain, and I suggest you check that video out. It'll be linked at the top right-hand corner on your screen now. But the main reason I want you to watch that video is to set up a polkadot.js wallet if you haven't already. So in that video there, I obviously teach you how to set this all up, what things mean, and how to actually get it all ready to participate in what I'm about to show you. Now, this is integral for Moonbeam, as Moonbeam requires you to have this wallet set up to participate in not only the crowd loan, but what we're about to do now, the crowd loan application process as well. So again, pause this video and at least open that video and skip to where I start teaching you how to actually create this wallet. If any of you are confused, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll happily link that video again and give you the timestamp for when I start talking about it. So just to squash any commonly asked questions before we continue, I'd just like to let you all know that the whole reason you need to set up a Polkadot related wallet is because we are required to send DOT tokens to these parachains when they are trying to receive funding for the auctions. Now, this process is called a crowd loan as they are literally asking us, the crowd, for money. Now, these projects bid in the parachain auction using the DOT tokens we provide them. Now, if you did wanna learn more about what a parachain slot auction is and this whole process, then please go and watch my video on that at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Again, I'm sorry I'm linking so many of my videos, but if you are at all confused, I have explained this process process before. Now, the other main reason we need to use a Polkadot related wallet is the projects we are sending our tokens to usually need to reward the participant with their native token. Now, upon surrendering your DOT token, you're rewarded with a specified number of the native tokens. Now, for example, let's say one DOT you surrender, you may receive 15 Glimmer tokens. Now, sending these tokens to a participant is only possible when they have a DOT address. And this is always the one you use to participate in the crowd loan with. This makes it very, very easy for the parachain as they obviously know who's already sent them DOT tokens. All right, now the very first thing I want you to do is scroll down to the description and press the link I have linked down there. It's gonna bring you to this page here. Now, the next thing you wanna do is obviously hit pre-register now, and it'll bring you to this page here. So this will be where you can put your email address in. Now, why is putting your email address important at this part? Well, it's because when Moonbeam actually announces they are allowing people to participate in the crowd loan, they will send an email out so you are aware and you can immediately do so. Now, you don't have to put an email address in here, and if you don't want to for whatever reason, again, follow my Twitter page and I'll bring you these announcements as soon as they happen regardless. So again, I suggest you do so. I've actually done this a few days ago, so I'm gonna skip this and just hit start. Now. Of course, the T's and C's in anything is very, very important. However, reading what this actually says is crucial. I'm not gonna go through everything with you, but I'm gonna give you one reason why it's very, very important. That's terms and conditions number one. As we can see here, if you are not a citizen or resident of a country, the laws of which prohibit the conflict uh, with the holding sale or trading of tokens, such as countries to include the United States of America, its territories and possessions, any state of the United States and the District of Columbia, Canada, and so on and so forth. I'm guessing most of the people watching this would be from Canada and the US and not from China. So either way, if you are a US citizen or a Canadian citizen, you cannot complete the uh, Moonbeam crowd loan process. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry. Look, I guess you probably could, but if there is any regulation or anyone speculates anything, your tokens and your investments could very well be lost, and that's the last thing I would want to happen. Okay, so keep that in mind. I'm so sorry. I do suggest you stay away from Moonbeam. Now, if you are from any other country apart from those I've mentioned, uh, stay tuned. Let's move on. So scrolling down here, you'd want to actually hit, I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions. 
Now it's this part in the video where I suggest you ensure you have a polkadot.js wallet set up. Again, my Akala video will show you how to do everything and ensure that you do have what I'm about to show you now, the polkadot uh, address actually on here, which will be represented by the polkadot at the top uh, right of the uh, address up here. If it, this was not actually polkadot and this is something else like Kusama, just press here and change it up to the Polkadot Relay chain, okay? You wanna make sure it starts with a number one, and that is obviously reference to the Polkadot uh, chain. Now, in saying that, when you do actually come to this page here, there will be a pop-up on the screen that will ask you for authorization to connect to the Polkadot.js wallet. Now, it will always ask you once on any website you visit to actually authorize this. This pretty much allows Polkadot.js to connect to the website you're using. And again, we'll only ever ask you once. Now, for whatever reason, if you do hit accept and it doesn't let you go through, if it doesn't let you hit connect, which I'll do now anyway, uh, what I suggest you do is come to the top right here. So into your extension again, actually press this, or sorry, press this settings bar, go down to manage website access and make sure the crowd loan for Moonbeam Foundation is allowed. If it's, if it's denied, sorry, make sure you do tick it across to allowed and it should let you uh, connect. So once you do connect, you'll be able to see your accounts down here. Now I only have the one account, which is Polkadot.ACA funds and the address. So make sure it is the one you will be participating in. If you do pick a different address, which is actually outlined up the top here, uh, you will have to resubmit and re-sign again, which will cost you a very, very small amount of money. But nevertheless, it is money and you'll have to do it all over again. So I suggest you make sure that this account is the account you'll be using and only the account you'll be using. I'm only ever using one account for all the parachains I'm participating in. So there's no confusion whatsoever and you can do this. Okay, so once you're happy with that, I want you to hit sign and send. Now, just before you hit sign and send, and it's okay if you actually have, uh, but to go actually to the other link in the description, which is the polkadot.js actual uh, application page. And this is where you'll be able to go and actually ensure that you do have metadata updated uh, because that's very, very important as well. You wanna make sure you're using the current version of the Polkadot wallet extension. So it'll bring you to a page like this. Now, I'm currently on the Dusty network and it's okay if, if, if you are and you can't actually see your accounts where I can. Uh, we wanna hit this drop down here, hit Polkadot and Parachains, Polkadot and via uh, Parity and hit switch. Uh, and now it'll actually allow you to, once it loads at least, to come up here and see your account. So it didn't have this before because now we're connected to the Polkadot ecosystem. So if we hit accounts, we will be able to see my account I have set up, which is fantastic. This one just here. So again, that's great, everything's set up. Now to actually ensure we have the latest metadata installed, we wanna go up to the top here, settings, metadata. And as we can see extensions here, just hit update metadata and yes, do this metadata update and it'll update. So it's again, if you've hit sign and send, it's okay. It's not a huge deal. Uh, it'll work either way, but just ensure that you do have it constantly updated. So I'm gonna hit sign and send anyway. It'll come up to this section here. Now mine's gone through to transaction successful and it skipped a few little steps along the way. That's okay. I'm gonna throw some screenshots up on the screen in a second uh, to actually show you what to do next. And this is because again, I have completed this process. So Moonbeam is understanding that I have already signed and sent away my rights to connect to my Polkadot.js wallet. So again, as I stated, when it actually shows up with that page where it was loading, the next thing that will come up is an authorization section where you'll be asked again from Polkadot.js to enter your trading password on your Polkadot account. So enter the password that you would have created when you made that wallet and press sign the transaction. Now, again, it's important to note that when you do sign that transaction, there is a small fee of around 0.0411 dot that will be deducted from your Polkadot.js wallet. So ensure that you do have some funds already in that wallet. I actually had a mate that had less than one dot in his account and it actually charged him around 20 or so dollars 
worth of fees. So make sure you have, again, at least that one DOT token in your wallet before you sign that transaction section just there and before you obviously put your trading password in or it very well could charge you more. So after you put your password in, hit sign and send, it will then process the transaction and then it will load and provide you with a successful transaction confirmation screen with the hash of your transaction. And then it will load and provide you with a successful transaction confirmation screen with the hash of your transaction. So you may prove it was successfully confirmed, of course. So if you do press into it, you'll be able to find your token address and the address you had signed the transaction over to. And that's it, everyone. You're now eligible for the Moonbeam crowd loan. Now, again, this is just the preparation for it. You can't actually send any of your DOT tokens into Moonbeam to receive those Glimmer tokens. But rest assured, when that time comes, if you did put your email address in, you will receive an email confirmation from Moonbeam immediately. And again, you guys can trust me to provide you with all the information you need uh, on a very timely manner. So again, follow my Twitter page and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, especially surrounding the parachains. So the next video similar to this will be on the Aster network and how to actually do this for their side of things as well. And again, if I do decide to do that video before the crowd loan actually starts, I'll do a two part on that as well. So stay tuned everyone. Thank you all for watching. I know it was a very, very quick video. I love you all. See you on the next one. Bye.